What's up, fans? Love Kenny B. Back in the building with it another act. Oh, what? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Jamal. Calm down. What's up, fans? Love Kenny B. Back in the building with it another video. Um, as you guys know, I've started doing mukbang Tuesdays, and welcome to mukbang Tuesdays. So for today, so for today. Sorry. Um, Kenny is being English right now. Sorry, guys. But yeah, welcome to mukbang Tuesdays, and today we got some. Yummy goodies for y'all today. So here's a bit of a backstory, honey. Mama B joined um, our Facebook page to this group called Kiwis in Melbourne, and that's all you need to know. No. So she joined this page called Kiwis in Melbourne, and obviously on there they share memes and stories or just like gatherings or feeds that you know that pop up for you know us, us Kiwis in Melbourne to sort of get a. Oh, to, us Kiwis in Melbourne to sort of like gather together and stuff like that. Just help each other out and connect with our fellow peeps here in Melbourne. So please do join the page if you're Kiwi from, if you're Kiwi in Melbourne, check them out. So shout out to this fam's here for posting um, about hungies. This is our second time getting it. So we had to draw a mukbang, well I had to draw a mukbang on this. Um, so yeah, it's a hungie. We got a hungie here, um, it's $15. We got pudding, we got raw fish. Um, and we got Rowena bread, so keen to check it out. Yes, so I've got a whole mess of loaf to myself, but really my family are like, are you gonna come after bread yet or what? But I'm just gonna keep it here for the whole video. They've already finished their feed. I'm just gonna get started. So let me just show you guys what I got. You know, time to muck around here. Last time it took me so long just to get to the dang feed. But yeah, so it's a nice tray. Like when we first got it, we are like, oh man, it's a bit too small. But once you eat it, Mm, but once you eat it, man, you get more full than you think you would. So it's got stuffing. I'll pop a better video um, for you guys. So it's got some potatoes, some kumara, some yummy ass stuffing, some pork, um, chicken. It's just delicious in general. Uh, this is the first time we've got a pudding. Uh, we had the raw fish before. So we just got the huggy and raw fish before. The bread is new too. So yeah, I'll do a video for you guys. Hold on. Oh, yummy. Oh, it tastes so good. I haven't had pudding in ages. The raw fish was quite um, creamy. Um, it's not like how someone's watered down. So the husband, he does the hangi, he's Māori. And the wife is Cook Island. But let's get to the prayer and let's start eating. You know, let me try some of this custard. Oh, I haven't had pudding in ages. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh my god. Nice little bite here. Mmm. Mm. Man, it's pretty so good. Now, I like how it's got heaps of custard. Mmm. I like the size of it too. I feel like it's just enough, like. Oh, I should be saying this for dessert. What am I doing? One job. Oh, yeah. Let's just get straight into it. Ah. We're not trying to waste a drop here. Oh. Sorry about the bird. It makes noise every time I'm trying to do a video. Um, But man, just the smell of the smoke. Mm. It's food like this from New Zealand that you just sort of like regret not having like in New Zealand I never had honey as much until I moved here and now I'm just like why didn't I have one why don't we have more honeys you know when we're in New Zealand I guess when I think about it money was quite tight and stuff like that so oh the cabbage baby hmm let me just hold it up for you guys won't eat it oh, the kumara baby I usually eat everything with mayo, but with this I just want to savor the flavor, you know what I'm saying, baby? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just the smoke. Like, usually when you smoke things, oh. oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Have some potato. I'm gonna put some butter in there. 
mix it with the potato. Yours truly, merrily. Put some on there. Oh man, I miss a lot of kiwi food. Like, it's nice because um, because we meet at a car park along with everyone else that gets the order too. Someone, a lady today and her husband and daughter ordered 37 hangies, man. Like, that's crazy. Um, crazy. Like, literally crazy. That's a lot. Um, the max we've ordered is six. Our first time ordering, we got four. This time we got six just because, you know. Mm. It's like you've never had potatoes so good until it's in the honey. For those, of, sorry, for those of you that don't know what a honey is, um, a honey is just food that is cooked underground. Obviously, we put rocks and stuff on it, just smoked underground. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's some way you can do it above ground. You just gotta like with salmon, with um salmon's like saying salmon. We call it a umu. We do it above ground. We don't do it in ground. It's the stuffing for me. I don't want to drop any. Just a smokiness of it. I feel sorry for all the Aussies missing out. They haven't joined the page. It's like you get sick of the takeaways that are around. Like if you can only have KFC so much, McDonald's. What else is there? Hungry Jacks. Well, honestly, a hungry. So it might taste plain to some people, but man, a hungry just always hits the hits the spot. You know what I mean? That soul food type of flavor. It's like it's probably like for um like how Africans and that have you know their soul food like collard greens or cornbread and stuff like that. Like that's what a hungry is to like Maori and um, Pacific Islanders. Sorry guys, I've been starving for this all day. Ever since my mum told me she ordered it, I was like, oh yes. M mind you, this whole day I've been eating like there's no tomorrow. Mm. So today's Saturday by the way. Pumpkin too. I've got to tell you guys there's pumpkin in there. Mm. Right, let's get to the meat baby. I like sort of saving the stuffing for last. That's the part that really fills you up. It's just full of carbs, baby. Nice big chunk of pork. I mean, you can't have hungry without pork, you know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. The smokiness of it. Mm. Tastes like home, baby. All I need now is an LMP and I'm good to go. Mm. Let me put some more butter on this potato here. Mm. Got a nice fat chunk of butter on there. hectic my weekend's been already so today's saturday um you guys will probably know by now that i'm on night shift so my roster starts from sunday evening at 10 and i finish at 6 in the morning and then my last shift is friday midnight and i finish at 4 30 in the morning so it's only a four and a half hour shift um sorry mm. 
stuffing, bro. I'm sorry, my friend, um, my homegirl Suafa, shout out to Suafa. Um, last minute we decided yesterday, Friday after work, we we last minute we, we planned last minute um to go to the Black Friday sales at um High Point Mall. Um so yeah. So I was like, yes of course I'm I'm keen as like honestly it's good to get out of the house once in a while and especially since like we go out but it's good to go out with friends. I don't really go out with friends much. So we went to High Point yesterday, um looked at some sales. We really just wanted to get um yeah, we really just went to hang out and just eat. I, I really mainly wanted to go to eat. Um, you know, I didn't have money to be spending on sales and stuff like that. Um, we got some dresses. I just got one dress. She did a bit of shopping too. Um, we didn't, I'm not even gonna bother talking about the lines. You know, places like Foot Locker, Platypus. We're just lining up and we're just like, oh, it's not really worth it. Um, plus we got there around like 10, 10.30 to 11 so it was already going to be packed by then people were probably just lining up outside people were probably sleeping outside first of all so plus we were really tired from work so we first of all we hadn't gotten any sleep um and we went straight shopping and then the more aircon was just crap obviously because kids and their babies so they wouldn't blast it up too long as much as i would have wanted it to be it was just so hot in there the outfit I wore was trash. It wasn't suited for um, hot weather. We went and did some shopping, a little bit of shopping. Um, and then we got just a whole heap of food, Asian food. I got a tonkatsu um, pork um, ramen soup. Pork ramen. We got some chicken fried rice. She got a lot of sushi. Um, and I love dumplings, I love dumplings. The dumplings I had yesterday would probably have to be the best dumplings I've had here in Melbourne. Um, yeah, we're gonna go find a seat to sit at the mall to eat. But you have to line up to sit down. And we saw the line where we got stuffed at. So she brought up the idea of going to Williamtown, Williamstown Beach, just to chill, relax and eat. And we, yeah, that's where we went. So we went and chilled at Williamstown yesterday. We probably got there around two, two chilled. Had a bit of a nap, left at around almost four. Came home and I slept like a baby. I slept at around like maybe seven. And I got up at six this morning. I slept the whole night through. Didn't wake up. I know I was snoring for sure. But man, I slept like a baby. Mind you, the nights before, I didn't really sleep much. I'd sleep as soon as I get home and then wake up at dumb times and then not go back to sleep. Man, I'm so gutted that night shift was nearing. I've got like two more weeks left and then back to day shift. I miss it, but not at the same time. I'm gonna miss night shift though. The stuffing, bro. Oh, sorry guys. Mm. And that's how my plate's looking right now. I'm gonna get into the chicken because baby. I love this chicken because just the smoke, you know, flavor. Mm. Smell of the smoke. All throughout the chicken too. Mm. Nicely cooked, man. Sometimes when I eat barbecues, like, I get worried eating chicken because sometimes it's not cooked all the way through. For me, it always depends <laughs> who cooks it and stuff. Oh, if you look at that, no red here. Mm. Bloody hell. all of the stuffing mm. the stuffing has got to be like my favorite part mm. 
I don't eat chicken like most people. I just eat it like what's on the surface. Some people will go into eating the cartilage, the bones, and I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down, Jamal. Might as well just eat the plate too. Jokes. Oh, I'm so gutted. My stuffing's finishing soon. I got a bit of pumpkin left. go wrong with a honey literally mm. if I clean it anymore I'll be eating the skin <laughs> I might get into the rest of the food before I get full on the stuffing like I've eaten so much today it's not even funny I'm surprised I'm still like you know eating like I haven't eaten in days I literally woke up, had my chicken fried rice leftovers, what else, and then I had some, oh, I love snacks from Daiso, I'm not too sure if it's a Japanese store, I'm just going to say Japanese, um, Daiso, oh, no, I'm not going to say, yeah, so I shop, um, we, when we were at High Point yesterday, I saw that Daiso had opened and I love um, the snacks that they have there. So I had some of those snacks this morning, um, and then I had sushi, and then what, I had chocolate pretzels, I, was, I should do a video of stuff I eat in a day, it's not even funny, and look at me eating, okay, and the time now is, so we picked us up at 4.30, it's 5.55 at the moment, um, my last pork. Guttered. Mm. Oh, another one's got the pork fat on it. Only with the honey. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, make sure you guys, if you guys are Kiwis or you know, just people from India, make sure you guys go check out Kiwis in Melbourne on Facebook. Follow them. Um, and yeah, that's where you can upload when you're like, say, you're. Holding a seawall or you're selling a feed or something like that. Mm. Mm. We met some of the same people we met there last time. Um, we're like family now, you know what I'm saying? All right. Before I get full on the stuffing, let me try some of this Rowena bread. I'm not going to eat the mulli of the bread. I'm going to eat the, this, you know, more closer in. Um, we had originally ordered four, um, so shout out to, um, to her for coming through with the bread too. She said she'd left on the aircon and forgot about it and didn't let, and it didn't let the bread rise. So, yeah, this is a nice big piece here. I might only have a bit. Put some butter on it. I love having bread like say for example pudding or just a nice bread, bakery bread with butter and tea. It's the simple foods that count for me. Mm. Mm. This sort of tastes like um fa ba ba. I'm not too sure what the English um term is it uh term of it is. Mm -hmm. um. Still nice and full. Yeah, it's got that fat bar bar pudding texture. Oh no, I like this. I like this. Mm. So, no, it's just like banana pancakes. Pancakes, if you guys know what I mean. Mmm, I really like this. It's nice with butter butter though. You dip it into that raw fish, baby. Yeah, it's really thick in terms of um, coconut cream. A little bit good off the bread too. Mmm, mm. you can taste the lemon. Mm. Do 
Damn. Fish. I usually like saving my raw fish for later. I usually eat a bit and then save some for when I wake up. Because sometimes I um prep myself. Like say for example, if I eat KF if we get KFC today, I won't feel like it. But because I've prepared my system to sort of have it and we have leftovers the next day, it always tastes better the next day for me. Food always tastes better the next day. Obviously the honey didn't last, but Nice big chunk of fish there. Mm. I'm not really good at knowing what fish is being used in raw fish. Oh my gosh. Got some tomatoes, some spring onion, cucumber. Nice little chunks too. Not big, like bite size. Mm. It's really creamy too. Um, if you're not into creamy, you would have to water it down. The lemon too. Mm. I like it when the lemon's strong because I can't, I don't really taste the fish. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the raw fish always tastes good after like a, a night out like drinking. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh. Say less. Dessert, here we go. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I might dip some of this bread in this custard too. Very generous with the custard. I'm not too sure what they add in um, pudding. I think they add like um, ginger or something. Because sometimes it tastes overpowering. I think it's ginger. Sometimes it tastes overpowering in some puddings, but this pudding, oh my gosh, it's just right. With the vanilla custard. Mm. 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 I need a drink to even out all the carbs I just consumed. I'm gonna finish off this stuffing I have left in my plate. I'm gonna clean it up. And then I'm gonna finish this video. Oh no. I know I'm gonna be craving this again later. Let me try off the spoon this time because the fork was testing me, you know. Nice big spoon. Let's go. Just gone. So good. I love to take this for lunch. Wasting a drop today. Mm. Literally, like I feel content when I eat this. Like it fills and hits, ticks every box in my in my system. Sometimes when I eat KFC and that, like there's always something missing or too much or something, but oh, oh. Mm. can't go wrong for honey. Can't. Um, we're gonna be filming reactions after this, and I already feel tired. I literally just woke up from another nap before. Let me dip some of this bread in there. Mm. Mm. I love the texture of it. 
Let me close the video off right here, but please go check out the page Kiwis in Melbourne and check out um, our fans page here that they that the, the honey, the bread, the raw fish, and the custard pudding. Oh my goodness. So please show them some love. Check them out. Um, and if you're here in Melbourne, get your honey. Get your honey. Ace it. No excuses. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you know any other good places that sell, you know, honeys or just, you know, um, you know, foods that Kiwis like or just polys, let us know. Um, I'll definitely be keen to check it out here in Melbourne. Keyword Melbourne. But yeah, other than that, friends, much love. Stay safe on my stomach. And I'll see you in another video. Bye!